Hello, everyone. This is Phoenix Tremaine, and I would like to take a second to thank everyone for sticking with me that um, have been here, have subscribed, have become members. Uh, I think a lot of you know I've been sick lately since September, and so I haven't been able to do videos as frequently as I would actually like to do videos or I used to do videos, but July is my birthday month, and I have decided to try to make the goal of at least doing a new video every day. And uh, so make sure you hit that like button so YouTube knows a good channel for soap fans. And also subscribe and uh, do the full notification so you know every time I drop a video. Because like I said, my goal is to drop a new video every day and to expand not just soaps, but other things that's going on uh, in the world. Like you see, my started last week uh, was my first weekly weekend review. My next one is coming up very soon. And um, OK, let me go ahead and thank my members because y'all came here for soap spoilers. And I'm going to take 35 seconds to thank Michael Pryor, Ariel Ninos, Gwen Marie, Merlin, Ben, Riri, Carter, Sims, Sims, Cheryl Beecher, Jay Ponson, Sandra Crawford, Janet Loftus, Chalkman 33, Denise M, Roger Smith, Kiki Landry, GH Fan, Dilla Depper, Velasquez, Heather Kite, Ramona Newson, Josh Hirsch, MJ Honnold, Kim Price, uh, Susanna Rahajaham, Matasha M, Lisa Knapp, Shannon Clark, Demi Sun, Navar, DLC, Red Butterfly, 50 Irish, Omar, Chrissy Power, Kelly Banks, Vishanti Collins, and the NJ Tribe fan. Thank you all for being part of membership. And now let's go ahead and talk about these uh, spoilers. Now let's talk about Days of Our Lives, where I'm actually looking forward to this because I haven't been that interested in the soap opera that Abe has been watching while he's been kidnapped. But <laughs> this week, uh, Jack K is going to be on the soap and her character's name is Sandra. <laughs> and based on this picture that I'm using as the thumbnail, it looks like it's going to be Sandra Clark, not necessarily with the last name, but she probably will be giving us a uh, a version of Sandra for the soap, which is actually Abe hallucinating. So now let's get to the breakdown for the week. Monday, July 10th, Chloe and Xander lovemaking is interrupted by Gwen. Brady learns that his daughter has gone missing. Alex moves out of Kriaka's mansion. Chad and Stephanie find a new home. Tuesday, Marlena puts Harris under hypnosis. Wendy laces uh, into Lee. Melinda realizes Sean has been drinking on the job. He's eventually going to get fired, but we'll get to that. Stefan is furious with Gabby. Sean continues to spiral. On Wednesday, Sean continues to spiral. Wendy decides if she wants to be with Tripper Johnny. Spoiler alert, which is so video spoilers, but she picks Trip. Both Jada and Trip stop by to see Steve. Harris begs Marlena to commit him to Bayview. Thursday, Paulina's family comforts her before Abe's funeral. Jerry is upset to see that Whitley drugged Abe. John relates to Steve that he had another nightmare about Abe. Kristen and Mr. Lonnie that she knows where Rachel is. And then on Friday, uh, Kristen tells Marlena she wants Brady to revise Rachel's custody agreement. Steve asks Whitley about her resignation from the hospital. Lonnie asked Jerry what he wanted to tell Theo and drugged a hallucinates. So that's the day we get uh, Jack Hay playing this character, Sandra, on this uh, soap within a soap. And I have to say that I'm starting to get back in the Days of Our Lives. I fell off with both General Hospital and Days of Our Lives, which were my two favorite soaps. And ironically, the one I hated the most, Old and Beautiful, uh, this week, not any of the other weeks, but this week, Old and Beautiful was Must See TV. Uh, and Young the Restless, um, I kind of fell off a little bit with them too. But <laughs> but I got to get back in all the soaps, especially since this is Sweeps Month. So, so this is when the soaps are all supposed to be having their A game. And uh, now, if you watch today's episode, it has now been officially confirmed. I, I mentioned weeks ago 
that there was going to be a love triangle and that the triangle was going to be Dimitri, Gwen, and Leo. For a moment, they threw Kristen in the equation, which she threw herself right back out of. But Dimitri kissed uh, Leo in today's episode. And Leo next week is not going to know how to feel about it. So, and I'm sorry, I said that Sean was fired. No, Sean was actually suspended because the new acting mayor overheard him talking, I think, with Rafe about uh, him drinking on a job. So he gets suspended by the new, uh, the temporary mayor. It doesn't say it, but I think uh, probably on Friday's episode, because uh, the week of the 17th, Lonnie's missing. So I think that Lonnie is about to be the next hostage. And we all know <laughs> what I keep saying about when these Curtis get kidnapped. That's when the story winds down. And uh, Lonnie and Eli are only supposed to be on for like three, three or four weeks. So, and he's already him four weeks, her three weeks. So by the end of sweeps, which is July the 26th, we should be getting a free because it'll be time for Lonnie to go back to prison. So, so, but the week of the 17th, Abe is still captured by Whitley. So that's why I'm thinking it's the following week that we'll actually see uh, Abe finally free. Now, let me know what you think about uh, Days of Our Lives. Are you looking forward to Jack Hay playing a character named Sandra? And with this dress and that look on her face, I wouldn't be shocked if it was a new version of Sandra Clark. And um, what are you looking forward to? Uh, on Days of Our Lives. Are there any soaps that, uh, are there any stories to stand out for you? Uh, the Dimitri, Leo, Gwen uh, triangle, the Abe being kidnapped and by Whitley. Uh, do you really care about whether, who, who uh, uh, she picks, Johnny or Tripp? When, who, Wendy picks Johnny a trip. Um, I'm still shipping Johnny and Chanel. Um, and and I can't really think of Kristen kidnapping her daughter the way Brady kidnapped her daughter and to try to get this custom arrangement. Or Nicole and EJ and Sloan. You know, I think it would be cool if Sloan and Nicole both got pregnant. And and um, no matter who Eric stays with, that gives him two kids. So I know a lot of y'all have been saying Eric needs a kid after all these years. Well, the way they're going, wouldn't mind him having two. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you in the comment section.